It was built with the idea of adding beauty to the Lusaka city skyline. But a few years down the line, the society business park in Lusaka is empty and a shell of itself. This is after authorities ordered tenants to vacate the multi-story building due to structural deficiencies which were identified by experts. And now, the Zambia Institute of Architects has taken a tough line with a dire warning for any of its members who took part in certifying some of the sections of the building. The Zambia Institute of Architects will follow what has already been dictated in the law and anybody found wanting, whether it's our member or it's a member of the public who breaches any of the provisions of CAP 442, which is the Zambia Institute of Architects Act, shall face the law without favor. Society Business Park is not the only structure posing a threat to the public in the central business district of Lusaka. Mususu Karenga building on Katondo Street has not been occupied for many decades. There's a lot of uh, illegal occupation, for instance, is taking place. Uh, there's a lot of uh, social issues that are taking place there, and I wouldn't want to go into the details of uh, illegal uh, trafficking, uh, kids that are sleeping in there without parents and things like that. The Zambia Police Service is aware of some architects including foreigners who are practicing without licenses. Recent investigations have <coughs> highlighted numerous instances where individuals, including foreign nationals, have engaged in architectural practice without the requisite licenses from ZIA. This not only undermines the credibility of our architectural profession, but also poses significant risks to the public safety. And in Choma district in southern province, the Zambia Institute of Architects has summoned a developer who is using unlicensed people to construct a new shopping mall. It has been established that the supervisor on site is not an architect, but an accountant. Paul Sharara, ZNBC News in Lusaka.